Welcome to the Gradebook Setup Wizard demo. In this demo, you will learn how to set up your initial Gradebook settings in D2L Brightspace. At the end of this demo, you will be able to make choices about the settings in your Gradebook, and then you will be ready to start setting up your Gradebook. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, Click on the Course Tools drop-down menu, then choose the Grades link. If this is the first time you have entered the Grades tool for this course, the Gradebook Setup Wizard will open automatically. Otherwise, click on the Setup Wizard tab at the top. This first screen you see will show you a summary of the current settings applied to your Grades tool. Click the Start button in the lower left corner to start the wizard. The first step, you decide whether you want to use a weighted, points, or formula graded system. With the weighted system, your student's final score will be calculated out of 100 percent. With the points system, your student's score will be calculated out of the total number of the points offered in the course. If you'd like to set up some other custom formula, D2L Brightspace supports that with the formula option. Choose the grading system you want to use and click the continue button. In the second step, decide whether you want to release to the students their final calculated grade or adjusted final grade. With the calculated final grade option, they will see the score that D2L Brightspace has calculated based on the grades they earned in each grade item of the grades tool. With the adjusted final grade option, they will see the grade that you assign to them. This option will give you a chance to go in and edit their final grade before they see it. For example, if a 90 is an A and the student earns a 89.9. Selecting this option will give you the chance to assign the student an A if you choose. Otherwise, the student will be assigned a B. You can also choose to automatically release the final grade by checking this checkbox. This will show the students their final grade throughout the semester as it changes. Choose the option you want to use and click the Continue button. In the third step, you decide whether you want to drop ungraded items or treat them as zero points. With the Drop Ungraded Items option, all of the assignments that are not turned in are not included in the grade. The students start off with a 100% and as they complete assignments, their grade will drop. With this option, you will need to go in and manually give a student a zero for missed assignments each week. For students who miss assignments, their grades will be artificially inflated until you manually put in the zero. With the Treat Ungraded Items as a Zero option, the students start off the class with zero percent and as they complete assignments, their grade will increase. Next to the Auto Update, check this box to ensure the system keeps the final grade updated. Once you have chosen the option you want to use, click the Continue button. In the fourth step, you decide what grade scheme you want to use. Grade schemes are where you decide what grade percentages are assigned to which grade letter. We have already created a few generic schemes for you under organizational schemes. These schemes, labeled MTC Standard, are set up with 0 to 59 as a F, 60 to 69 as a D, 70 to 79 as a C, 80 to 89 as a B, and 90 to 100 is an A. Schemes are labeled W slash 
for with color and W slash O for without color. And schemes with a plus minus include the grades such as B plus and B minus. Click on the preview button to see the scheme before you choose it. If you want to create your own scheme, you will need to click on the Schemes tab in Grades after completing this wizard, and then assign it to your course. Schemes you create will be located in a section below the Organizational Schemes with a banner called Course Schemes. Choose the option you want to use by clicking the Circle option in the Default Scheme column and click the continue button. In the fifth step, you decide how many decimal places you want to round the student's grade for your display. By default, you have two. This means that if the student makes a 69.567367 on an assignment, the grade in the gradebook will be a 69.57. If you change this option to zero, then the gradebook, the score would be rounded with zero decimals and would be a 70. Realize that the computer will assign a grade category based on the actual score, not the rounded score. This means that if a 70 is a C, but the actual score is really 69.6, then the grade assigned will be a D. Choose the number of decimal places you want to use and click the continue button. In the sixth step, you decide what you want the students to see in their gradebook. For example, if a student turned in a homework assignment and scored 19 out of 20 on it, what would you want the student to see? under Grade Details. You decide if you want the students to see their score and point grade value, such as 19 out of 20, the weighted grade value, such as 95 percent, the grade scheme symbol, such as A, and grade scheme color, green, if A's are colored green. You choose the number of decimal places a student sees. Remember as before that the computer assigns grade symbols without rounding. Choose if you want to limit the text from the grade item's name to limit the width of the grades column in your gradebook. If you want students to see their final grade calculation, make sure that the final grade calculation select box is checked. Once you have chosen the grade detail options you want to use, click the continue button. In the seventh step, you receive a summary of all of the settings you have chosen for your course. Once you have reviewed them, if you need to make a change, click the go back button at the bottom of the page until you are on the step that you need to change. If you are satisfied with the options, click the finish button. You have now successfully used the Gradebook Setup Wizard.